These are side effects after transurethral resection of the prostate. From the cardio standpoint, you have rapid fluid absorption, which can lead to hypertension and increased intracranial pressure, can lead to a reflex bradycardia. If your sodium and your serum osms are very low, you can have third spacing, pulmonary edema, cardiovascular collapse, and in late stages, hypotension. On an EKG, you'll have a wide QRS if your sodium is less than 120. You can have an elevated ST if your sodium is about 110 to 120, and ventricular arrhythmias if your sodium really drops down to below 110. Respiratory, the pulmonary edema can lead to tachypnea and O2 desats, Cheyenne-Stokes breathing, the crescendo-decrescendo pattern with periodic apnea and tachypnea. From a neuro standpoint, that same sodium and serum osm decrease can lead to cerebral edema. Hyperglycinemia, which is high glycine, an inhibitory neurotransmitter can cause all kinds of bad neurologic things, including visual disturbances, seizures, somnolence. Hematologic, your decreased sodium and serum osms can cause a disseminated intravascular hemolysis. Uh, from the renal standpoint, hyperoxaluria is a metabolite of uh, glycine, which can lead to renal failure. And from the metabolic standpoint, your glycine is broken down into glycosidic acid and ammonia, which can cause acidosis.